All right, don't worry, we can fit something round, mate. Don't worry. We'll, yeah. If you give me some dates where you'd like to come, we'll see what we can do. Yeah? I mean, we'll be on it. We'll just have the camp bed. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. You'll be able to stay in your own bed because we bring the camp bed. We'll just sleep in the front room. Oh, don't. You know what I mean? Don't worry. Uh, but if you write, if you write me some dates yeah. now, if you write me some dates and let me know. I will, I will do. I'll and then, and then I'll have a, I'll have a word and see what. What we can do, yeah. Yeah, but you know, New York, we doesn't have to feel just to go anywhere. I mean, we we'll just sleep on the floor, Jay. You know what I mean? Cause we want to see you as well, really. All right, mate. You know what I mean? Are you sure? Yeah, I, I want to see you because I've missed her. All right, mate. And I will. You want to see the kids, won't you? It'd be nice for it to see the kids. Yeah. You know me, who Jason lives with. But we've got beds, Jay, to to bring, so it'll be all right. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright, mate. Do you want to get back to you what you were saying then? What were you saying? Um. The philosophy. Your friend who was a philosopher. Yeah, he's a he's into philosophy. <laughs> he's been trained in analytic philosophy, and uh, he um. He he uses philosophy quite a lot uh, in his apologetics and that. But for him, the Bible is the authority. So, I think, I think the problem is. I think John. I, I love John MacArthur, but I do think he's a bit unbalanced. I do, but I think there's a lot of evangelicals who go the other way, where they just bring in philosophy, they bring in psychology and all the rest of it, and they just haven't got any biblical truth, and they got they're unbalanced. But like I agree with you, you got to keep you, the two can complement each other. You know, we're not anti-intellectual, uh, so we should use philosophy. Uh, we're not anti knowledge. If there is knowledge to be gained by psychology or so called sociology, we can learn from that. I mean, yeah. it's like it's. I mean, the same thing could be said concerning um, doctors and uh, and the knowledge that they have um, in medical m medical uh, sphere. You know, it, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy to. To uh, not take that seriously, yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's like um, I think you've got to be like, for example, uh, someone with mental illness or someone who comes in a church and say they're taking the tablets, and and the pastor says you shouldn't take your tablets. You know, you don't need them. Uh, you need to stand on the word of God. You know, yeah. that's irresponsible. But you're not, even that comment though there, Jay, what you're really standing on is the pastor's word of God. Yeah. Because it's his opinion. Yeah, that's he's what I'm saying. You need to stand on the word of God, right? Yeah. I mean, the question, what, what does he mean by that? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. If you, if you, God would tell you through the word of God yourself. Yeah, yeah. You don't need, you don't need to go to an outward source or a, a, a faith healer. Yeah. So I'm saying so dangerous, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's what I when mean. He, when he says you need to stand on the word of God, what he really means is you need to stand on my word <laughs> and throw your tablets away. Yeah, yeah. You're not standing on the word of God, you're standing on the pastor's word. Yeah. It's just nonsense, Jim. I know, I agree. It's dangerous and it's nonsense. There's so many wackos, brother, out there. Yeah, yeah. And charlatans now, it's just crazy. Yeah. This is why, part of my call, I sometimes wonder, Jay, you know, should I be independent and, and you know, pray and, and plant my own kind of church kind of thing, you know, but there's no, the kind of personality I am, because I know what I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I could very easily become like some mad cult leader. Yeah. Because I'm not individualised, you know what I mean? And yeah. Not power mad, but it's just the way my personality is. I can carry, get carried away, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I think the accountability thing for me is, is good, you know. It's, um, I know it's got a lot of wars in the Anglican Church, but it's recognised and there's a trust there. Yeah. You know, it's very... It's just like the Nazarenes. I thought, why, why not the Nazarenes? You know, what I found with the Nazarenes, Jay? Yeah. As you, you're spending as the same amount of time 
explaining what the Nazarene Church is, is you are preaching the gospel, woman. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not, it's a, I know it's Sam, I know the great and all that, right? But people are confused about the church. I mean, if you're not educated, what I, what I found is ministers seem to know that, about the church, or know about theology, they seem to recognise us. But the average Tom, Dick and Harry down the street, they think it's like Jehovah's Witness or Mormon or, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not well known enough or established enough. People don't see it as orthodox, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Although it is, in, historically and stuff. So, but I just see it as a barrier. Yeah, yeah. And that's the reason I haven't gone the Nazarene way, to be honest. Because I, I want a church where you don't have to explain them. Because there's an identity there, the Anglican church. It's the same with the Methodist church. You know? Yeah. They might be all over the place nowadays, theologically. But when it comes to evangelising, you've already got over ten blocks. Yeah. Because people know it's steeped in the history of, of, of the nation, of Great Britain and stuff, you know what I mean? So so this is why I, I'm, I think I'm for denominations as well. Yeah, yeah. I just if you're got... an independent church, you, you end up just... No, there's not. The senior pastor. Yeah, I just be back a second, mate. I just be one oh. second. I just be. I just be one minute, mate. I know. You right there, Jim? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but to be honest, I think I believe I believe uh, I, I know what you're saying because I've experienced it myself. Yeah. Uh, I've experienced working for churches that are independent. Yeah. And there's no accountability structure there, and there's no. Um, you know, like a, your typical evangelical church, if you go to be a pastor, unless it's a really top, top church, or a really, really uh, well-run church, which are very, very rare, you won't have uh, documentation about your employment rights or anything like that, uh, and there's no stipulation or whatever. Um, uh, really, it's very, it's very kind of loose. Thing. so you don't know where you stand and the, you don't seem to have any rights or anything and I understand if you go in a denomination uh, you get you get it, it's all worked out you get a pension you you get a manse if you most of the denominations uh, and you know where you stand and I can appreciate that but I, I think and I think uh, depending on your personality, um, you know, sometimes, you know, you need that structure, you need that, you need that kind of to know where you stand, especially if you've been abused by uh, a church in some way, uh, in terms of in in leadership. You know, like yeah. if you're in leadership, you can have, you can be the pastor, or you can be uh, part of a leadership team. But if there's no structure, if there's nothing written down which gives procedures, then people can manipulate you and abuse you in yeah. psychological manipulation, in power struggles and things like that. But in denominations, often there are these hierarchical, hierarchical structures where uh, there is accountability, there is a procedure. But even then, what I would say, ultimately though, um, Ultimately, wherever you go, whether it be in a denomination or in an independent church, it comes down to whether you're called 
because if you're called, then you know there's that saying. What is it? Uh, what is it that uh, Hudson Taylor says? Uh, he will provide. You know, uh, if God calls, yeah. He provides. Oh yeah, wherever you know, God calls you. Yeah. So if He's called you to a place, then He'll provide, and uh, that means if there are situations where you're being abused by the leadership team or whatever, uh, you'll be okay because if that's where God's put you, you'll be all right. And that's the guarantor is God. Yeah. Um, because denominations will let you down. You'll get you'll get bishops or you'll get area reps who have it in for you. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. You know, and but but I know um I had a, and I went to visit a minister once uh, called Keith. Um, I won't say his last name because it'll be recorded. But uh, the the he is an elder, he was an elderly guy, and he'd been in a independent evangelical church, and then he would ended up going into the Anglican church, and it was a real blessing for him. Oh yeah. Because it gave him that structure, it gave him that um, you know, he, he knew where he was at. Yeah. You know, so I like I I went to an Anglican church for um when you know when we was at seminary. Yeah. I yeah. I went to uh even though I was at at the church um you, you know the church where I encourage encourage you to preach. I won't name names, I don't want people to know names on the thing, but the I did go to an Anglican church, and I really loved it because I like I like the uh, the structure, the uh, the prayer book, and things, and uh, the structure of it, the saying of the creed, and things like that. It gives you an order. And when when yeah. things have been disorderly, when things are uh, um, are a bit disorderly in your life, which it can be in the evangelical churches, like yeah. charismatic and stuff like that. But you go to the Anglican, and uh, you, you, there's a structure, and you know, and 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 in a way, um, life works on structure. When you think yeah. of the four seasons, we've got four seasons, mm. you know, and and I think like the Anglican Church, it it works on seasons, and it has this structure, and it can yeah. be very therapeutic and healing. Yeah, one of the things you said what was interesting. There's been a lot of talk about the. And he says the reason he says it's good it's good because it reminds people who God is and it reminds people that your life's not your own. For example, you've got morning prayer. Yeah. You've got evening prayer. You know, you've got the church calendar and it, and, it, and the the routine of Anglicanism. Yeah. It gives people a stability to their lives. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree there, yeah. And yeah, and, and I never thought of it like that before because I, I just used to think, Oh, liturgy, this is boring but actually it reminds you that you're not in it reminds you that you're not in charge of your own time, God is. Well and it yeah. brings your mind back to you know, to the authority of God. Yeah. You know, God is in charge in the morning prayer. Midday prayer, God's in charge. Evening prayer, God's in charge. And, and uh, Compline or Compline at the end. Mm. Well, it's definitely about stability. And you need stability in a culture that's got instability. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, so there's that side to it as well. Uh. I was listening to that thing on um, the big question, you know. Yeah. And what I came away with is you have rights over your own uh, internet history. Yeah. Because if you, if, for example, if you if you break the law, right? Yeah. If you broke the law, then the internet and the media is entitled. To keep that a public record yeah. for people to know. But if you haven't broken the law, 
it's your entitlement of free speech yeah to basically have the authority about your your public reputation if you like yeah so what I came away with is because you haven't broken any laws Jason yeah then you have the public right because of free speech yeah. to monitor to monitor and control your public profile on the internet yeah but so that's what that's the thought I came away with you've not broken